Nike could tears on my feet. I don't take pics, but I'm feeling stylish. Just cop from jewelry, new teeth. Every time I smile, you can see the diamonds. Y'all really don't want no beef. Flip the whole function, get the wine. Yo, yo, YouTube, it's your boy Jared, the one, the only one. Back with another video today. Yes, sir, today. Yes, sir, today. I got a surprise for y'all, man. I'm a surprise today myself. I was highly, highly surprised, man. But today, man, I have an old feet. Other Jordan one or Bayonair joints, man. Yes, sir, I do. And it's a personal pair. It's a personal pair. Shout out to Matt, the Jordan brand, Peyton, Erica, everybody at the workshop. If you didn't go check out my last video, I was at the workshop today. You know what I'm saying? I got inspired and got the real meaning behind the Bayonair. And basically, one of the persons from Cincinnati named Eric Sandy was behind the shoe, making the shoe from Cincinnati. I did not know that. I did not know that, man. So that's crazy to me, man. But it just, listening to them talking about, they were they definitely should rebellion there. And basically what inspires them to keep going, keep pushing, stuff like that. It just inspired me even more just to keep pushing for myself at the same time. So, but bless, man, for sure. Just the opportunity to get this shoe. And just to hear them talking about the shoe, man. Like I said, it's not even about the shoe. You know what I'm saying? It just being inspired, just listening to them talking about the billionaire, they come up and just all that good stuff, man. Just definitely inspired, definitely blessed with the opportunity. I appreciate Matt and everybody else, Erica, Peyton, Jordan Brand, of course Eric Sandy for sure making the shoe. And also, there's one more person that was there. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry, my bad. But he also made like some shattered backboards. The thing was the 1.0s or the 2.0s he made as well. Couple Jordan brand stuff he made, Jordan shoe wise, but and they all from Cincinnati, bro. They all from Cincinnati, man. So for my can't stop Cincy, you can't stop Cincy, man. So y'all ain't hearing me talk about all this good stuff. Y'all here for the shoe, so just want to get y'all a little inspiration, you know what I'm saying? But make sure you like and subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Not further ado, man. Let's go and get to the video. This this part of the video, we are gonna talk about this shoe, man. Yes, sir. Rebellion Air Drone 1. Supposed to be releasing on March 18th. Not on Sneakers app at all. I'm sorry about that for people that can't get their hands on this shoe. Kind of sad. But I only think they made like 8,000 pairs. 8,000? 8,000 pairs? And I got one of them. That's just a blessing for sure. But at the same time, it's kind of crazy that I'm now releasing on Sneakers app. But comment down below, man. Let me know. You like this shoe. You're from Cincinnati area. You're from the Dayton area. Let you know, boy, though, down below, man. But... Let's go get these bad boys out, man. I'm excited. I haven't seen the shoe yet. I haven't opened the box up not one bit yet. So we're going to see how these joints look. I've seen them on feet when at the workshop. Super dope on feet. i seen with the red laces. But I might do the white. I might wear them on my birthday. My birthday on the 20th. I might wear them on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we to we see. We're going to see. But like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go get that shoe out, man. Y'all see this, man. Y'all see the Y'all see the bag, right? Y'all see the bag? Okay. Same thing on the side of the hat right here. I see that corporate got him. Matt right there. Shout out to Matt for sure. Much love to you for sure, man. You definitely be inspiring me, my boy. And also, by the way, when y'all see the box, y'all gonna let go. Y'all gonna laugh at it, bro. <laughs> y'all gonna laugh. But like I said, corporate got him. Let's get these bad boys out. Boom, 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 man. It's crazy, man. I didn't think I was gonna get these joints. But it just. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just blessed, man, for sure, man. But so y'all see the X right there. So y'all see Matt signature, and I also have, in case y'all don't know, my boy Peyton Smith. So little background story on Peyton Smith. Pretty sure y'all know Matt a little bit now because he's on our corporate. But Peyton Smith, I don't know y'all familiar with the Smith League, like people like Darius Baisley, Carly Jones, people like that. That's in the Smith League from Cincinnati area, and they both went to schools in Cincinnati. They in the NBA right now. Um, he basically got Smith League. You know how like the can't think of it. The, the Drew League is. It's basically got the Smith League. It's his last name, and basically you know what I'm saying he got sponsored by Jordan literally this week. So much love to you, brother. I'm definitely proud of you for sure, man. But he also said right here, my brother, thank you for having my back through this journey. I appreciate you. And you signed it, Peyton Smith. And Matt, he funny man. Look, this man said Giannis. Sons and Six signed it. Hashtag can't stop Cincy. So people sound look like Giannis though. He always, ever since he kn know me, he like Giannis, Giannis. And I mess with him every time. Like my bad if I beat you in the finals, bro. My bad, I apologize. 
because he a real real big Chris Paul fan and he real close to Chris Paul by the way too man so but much love this definitely gonna pride this box pride this shoe forever man show my kids grandkids like hey not because just for some money or anything like that but just to get inspired by stuff like this just get inspired stuff like this this is gonna motivate me man but y'all hear me preach man let's go get let's talk about the shoe box is basically all it says on here close up it says basically on the whole box it got words saying can't wearing so basically the whole meaning behind this shoe basically jordan brand basically when jordan was playing i think it was his rookie year i wouldn't say his rookie year but when jordan was playing before he wore them air jordan ones right over here right before jordan started playing he couldn't wear a certain a nike shoe i believe it was i forgot what nike shoe it was but it basically said he couldn't wear the nike shoe so basically jordan brand was like shoot we'll make you some jordan ones those right there something similar like that and basically they said you could wear those because basically he kept saying like he can't wear them he can't wear them so basically he's like nah i'm gonna i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do what's best for me so that's how basically how the rebellion there jordan ones basically how jordan ones started basically the meaning behind jordan ones so i didn't know that story at all like at all completely there's some new every day man so i'm based on the boxes this is basically saying can't stop wearing them can't stop wearing them stuff like that you know what i'm saying basically it's the definition of being a rebellion there so Definitely inspiring for sure. Got that personal joint, man. Again, shout out to Mad Man for sure. Much love to you for sure, man. So it says Air Jordan 1, Retro High, OG, Black, White, Prodigal, Gray. Size, size 11 and a half. I think the retail price is 170, 180. I think the retail price is 180 because it don't do the sticker for the retail price no more anyway. So that's kind of crazy to me, but it's all good, man. So. Put that to the side. Got your Nike stamp right there. Boom. So here goes your paper. Y'all see the paper joint right there. Y'all see the little, little sticker right there on the Jordan 1. See these bad boys. My first time seeing them, man. My first time seeing them. Bang. Here they go, man. The Air Jordan 1 with Bay in there, Jordan Smith. You will only see some real niggas around me. Gang, gang, GVO, that's the family. I'm making classes for the culture like I'm Spike Lee. But I'm trying to be a legend like I'm Stan Lee. I do the most for my people when I show it. I'm never stopping, dedicated, and they know it. I used to really write the lines like I'm a poet. They say that shit ain't for me, so I stole it. I only rep for my fam. Who do you think that I am? The ball in my court, so I cram. Um, super clean, super clean colorway, super clean shoe. Again, shout out to Matt, man, for sure. Much love to you. Paige Smith, Erica, Erica Sandy, all, your, all you, man. Much love to you, for sure. Y'all inspire me, man. Comment says the white laces. I see people with the red laces, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna do one with the black. Actually, I might do, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna do with the white. Because everybody with the black. I'm gonna do it with the white. I think I got success with extra red laces, so I'm gonna check. But if not, I'm gonna do some uh, with the white laces, man. But and then on the inside of the shoe, let's go get the other bad boy out. The axe on the back, the clean shoe, man, for sure. Definitely bless the Hotties as a personal, man. Definitely bless the Hotties as a personal. But let's go and talk about the shoe, man. First on your outsole, you got your dark gray outsole right here on the Air Jordan ones. Got your hints of your Nike right in the middle of the shoe. So on the pictures, it looks like suede or leather, whatever you want to call it. So Right here on the toe box, I'm feeling a little bit. I wouldn't say the, the toe box is suede, but I would say it's more like a hint of, I don't know the material I should say. Cause when I feel on the shoe, it don't feel like suede, but I feel like the whole upper of the shoe, it's more like a leather and hence of suede, like look, little hints of suede airing now and then on the shoe. But the only part that's like a little hint of suede it's on the toe box right here on this toe box right here so basically the whole upper like i said is leather but i think like the gray parts it's more like a suede because when i feel like a little soft it's not much as leather compared to this black part right here on the upper of the shoe got your white mid so of course i forgot to say that you got your gray air jordan wing logo got your red x on the back of the heel love the stitch in nike air tab right there black and white side of the shoe nothing too crazy nothing too crazy nothing too crazy you got your Nike Air black and white inside of the shoe. Color sets of white laces as well. 
I think, like I said, the more men of the shoe, like I said, definition, your definition of be a billionaire and the shoe, the person that's from Cincinnati made this shoe. So definitely more inspiring to me to even keep it even more. So Fandy, I forgot the other person's name as well, but they basically made this shoe from Cincinnati. So definitely more inspiring, man, definitely for sure. I'm trying to figure out this material for you guys, my bad. I'm just trying to figure out this material. And like I said, along the shoe, it just kept, along the shoe, it just basically saying, can't stop, can't wear. That's basically all I see around the shoe. It just said, can't stop, can't wear, can't wear them, can't wear them. Basically, like I said, about the whole story about the Air Jordan, that he couldn't wear the Air Jordan ones. And basically, Jordan Brand was like, no, we can wear the Air Jordan ones. So, definitely inspiring, like I said. But like I said, the gray part is suede. The more I start feeling on it, this gray part is suede. And the back of the heel is more suede. But this this black part right here is like a little patent leather on this paint right here with the X. So, and then the black part is more like a leather. It's not like suede at all. But one part, actually, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all see this material part right here? Go on this. It's suede as well. So most of the upper of the shoe is hence of suede and leather mixed together. So. You feel a hint of suede a little bit, but not as much. But for sure, this black part as well is suede as well too. So, yeah, hints of like I said, both. But I did too much talking on this shoe, man. Let's go and get this on feet going, man. Make sure you like and subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Definitely blessed to have this pair, man. For sure, shout out to Matt again, once again, I should say. Let's get this on feet going, man. Like and subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Let's get to it, man. Let's get this on feet going. I'll be right back. Talking about size run. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's 8,000 pairs. We'll still, I'm still talking about how to cop this shoe. It's going to be hard. But we're going to still talk about how to cop this shoe, man. So, BRB, man. Let's get this on Figo. Let's get it. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm back from my own feet. What the white laces? Oh, we they got these popping on on camera. Woo. Comment down below, man. Let me know. Shall I with the red laces? Keep it black, or should I just keep the white? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep the white. They got these looking. Ooh, make you wanna jump out the the, the camera like oh we like okay. These hard right here though, man. Like I said for sure, definitely blessed. For the workshop opportunity just to hear them like i said to talk about the definition of being a rebellion there for sure man so definitely like i said keep me motivated to keep pushing to keep doing inspire me to keep doing youtube content for for you guys you know what i'm saying just hopefully you get inspired just watching me to keep pushing to whatever you're doing whatever you got going on just keep pushing something going great come towards your way i'm still working on myself as well you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna keep pushing keep pushing that one day Something's gonna knock on my door, or I get an email or something like that, or DM or something like that for an opportunity for myself. And then, like I said, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just blessed, man, for sure, man. The position I'm in already, and I'm just gonna keep striving to be great for sure, man. But these joints, man, super clean, super clean colorway. The X, Eric Sandy man, did your thing for sure. You from Cincinnati, so of course you guys can say, so of course I can say, can't stop sensey, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go to the Super Bowl for the Bengals, man. So, these joints are super clean, super clean. Size run. They normally run true to size like Air Jordan 1s. So, I got 11 and a half. Fits me perfectly fine. If I got a 12, fits me perfectly fine as well. But, I always prefer Air my Jordan 1s. 11, 11 and a half. You know what I'm saying? So, they fit me perfectly, perfectly fine. Like I said, super clean colorway. Not too crazy. They remind me of the Shadow 1s. Basically, that's what it is. I feel like with this, basically what this shoe is. It's like Shadow 1s. 
had a freestyle to it and put the X on the back with around the shoe. Can't stop wearing it, can't wearing the shoe, you know what I'm saying? Around the shoe basically. So definitely fire, man. So the resale value on these right now, not going too too crazy right now, in case people are looking to resell a shoe. I think the bigger size is selling for more, but the smaller size is not selling too, too crazy. Catch people that's out there reselling this shoe. But like I said, keeping this pair as a personal. Definitely going to throw, throw these on for my birthday, which is March 20th. I'm definitely going to throw them on the day before. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to celebrate it because my birthday is on a Sunday. I'm going to celebrate on a Sunday, but I'm going to celebrate it on the 19th for sure. So I'm going to throw these on. Got to find me an outfit, man. So be on the lookout. Make sure you find me on my Instagram page down below, my TikTok, my Twitter, all that good stuff down below, man. I really, really appreciate it, man. That's it for this video, man. Like and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Can't stop Cincy. They re they are releasing here. I think like other, we one out of six stores are releasing this Saturday, I believe. But they're releasing on the 18th, like all over. So hopefully you win this pair, man. Cause like I said, these joints are super super clean. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely would have pulled a trigger on these though. Like I said, just the meaning behind the shoe. I look good, so I would definitely put a trigger just on that fact for sure. You know, this dope, dope colorway Air Jordan ones. I love Air Jordan ones for sure. That's always one of my first loves, and like I would definitely put a trigger for sure, man. But like I said, man, like and subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Like I said, I appreciate y'all showing love support as always. Can't stop, sissy baby. Catch out another video. Actually, I catch out tomorrow on the playoff 12 joints, man. Catch out tomorrow. Hey, Jordan one is out. Peace.